Hi everybody, I'm at Andalax training ground in Nerpede, which is a district of Brussels, uh, the Belgian capital. And what a famous and historic club this is. It's the most successful um, team in Belgium. It was crowned uh, Belgian champions 34 times. It also won the Belgian League nine times. It also ruffled some feathers uh, in the Champions League and Europa League in years gone by. However, in recent years, they really struggled. They finished 8th this season, the Corona season, they finished 6th the season before in 2019 and they finished 3rd in 2018 and the last time they won the league was in 2017. Finishing 3rd, 6th and 8th is definitely not good for a club uh, of Andalax history, tradition, caliber because this is the biggest club uh, in the country. Uh, it's like Ajax in Holland, it's like Juventus in Italy, it's like uh, yet now Paris Saint-Germain in France, it's like Real Madrid and Barcelona in Spain. This club has to fight for the Belgian league title season in, season out. But they haven't done that last season, they haven't done that this season before, but they are looking to get uh, back on track this season. However, everybody knows Anderlecht's uh, famous academy, which produced the likes of uh, Frankie van der Els, Walter Baseggio, uh, Enzo Schifo, Romelu Lukaku, Vincent Company. Uh, Den Donker, uh, Tielemans. This is one of the best football schools in the world. And even now, in the first teams, you have like the, the likes of Francis Amuzu, you have uh, Yari Ferskaren, you have Jeremy Doku. This club knows a thing or two about how to develop players. Also, AC Milan's Salamakas made his mark at the club between uh, 2018 and 2020. Uh, he played 64 times in the first team, he scored two goals before. Um, going on and playing for AC Milan where he established himself as a very important player, as a key player in, in, the, first, um, in the first 11. He's not just a squad player, but that proves that everybody who leaves Anderlecht goes on to have a very good career abroad. Romelu Lukaku is one of the best strikers in the world these days. Company was probably the greatest foreign centre-back in the Premier League uh, in a time where the Premier League was blessed with the likes of Rio Ferdinand, uh, John Terry and so on and so on but Vincent Company was in their bracket he was at their level he he was one of the main reasons why Manchester City uh, dominated English football in recent years he left last year and this season Manchester City uh, didn't win the title but this club also had other famous players like Ari Hahn, the famous Dutch midfielder who finished as runners-up in the 1974 and 1978 World Cups and his countryman as well, uh, Rob Rensenbrink, the famous left winger who played up front with Johan Cruyff and um, Johnny Rapp in, uh, in the World Cup 1974, which they lost tragically uh, against Germany, the hosts in, in Munich. Anderlecht also had other famous players uh, in the past, like Luke Nielis, the famous uh, Belgian striker who played eight years here, won a couple of Belgian titles before going on to PSV Eindhoven and tearing the Dutch league apart. He's widely regarded as one of the greatest ever strikers Belgium has produced alongside the likes of uh, Emil Empenza, Romelu Lukaku and then the club also had Lucas Biglia who played for Lazio uh, after leaving Anderlecht, who played for AC Milan as well. It had Cheku Kuyate uh, who went on to play for West Ham and Christopher Fala. So as I said, this club uh, is not only um, a force to be reckoned with on the pitch but also off the pitch. Um, it does a lot of things yeah, the right way. Anyway, that's everything from Nerpede in Brussels. I wish you all the best.